This is the first time I've ever done it, so look at him. However, this tank right here is good. And boom, there it is. Three, two, one. What is up you guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm gonna try to get right into this uh, so I can get it done. You good bro? Anyway, today I'm gonna be sealing up two different 10 gallons. Uh, one I actually already like took all the silicone out of. Uh, I'm gonna be re resealing and all that. Showed you guys uh, basically how to do it and all that, which is, this is the first time I've ever done it, so if I do something wrong, comment down below. But I have watched some videos on how to do it and all that, and I, I, I think I, I think I know what I'm doing. Now the other one actually is just a little crack, so we're just gonna like basically seal that crack up. But the other one I don't, I don't know exactly where the leak is at, so I'm gonna have to like fully reseal the other one. First, basically I got three different things. I got a caulking gun, 100% all-purpose silicone is very important to get this, obviously because well, for it to be safe for the fish and some painter's tape. So basically what I'm gonna do, like I said, I've already gotten all the silicone out of here. Uh, it's very important to get every bit of it out of here because when you put new silicone in, you wanna make sure that you know every bit of it's out of there so that way you have a fully uh, clean new layer. And all you gotta do, just take one of these scrapers right here and just go along the edges and there you go. What I'm gonna do first is go along the edges and kinda line it with the painter's tape and uh, then we'll start put the silicone in. All right, so there we go. It's definitely not the best job. Uh, basically, the reason why these edges are off like that is because that's where I just pulled too much tape off, tape off, and uh, basically just had to round it off like that. But uh, yeah, it's not the best job, but uh, it's it's gonna do. I got it all in there. Uh, if you never used silicone before, it has like a vinegar smell to it. So uh, yeah, just be aware of that. Basically, what I'm gonna do now is go in there with my fingers and just kind of smooth everything out, so that way it's not like like a bump like that in one area, uh, and then like really thin another area like that. So I'm gonna smooth it all out and uh, then take the tape out. And there we go, just like that. I got it all smoothed out now. I took all the tape out. Now what I'm gonna do? Take it right on over here to where it cannot get any kind of water in or anything like that. And uh, we'll come back tomorrow to check on it. However, this is the other tank that has the crack in it. So this is the other tank right here. It's little crack is right there. So I'm actually just gonna seal it from the outside and uh, hopefully everything turns out okay with it. And boom, there we go. Got it on there and then I basically smoothed it out with this right here. Some of you may not agree with me like seal it on the outside. Totally fine, this is just how I'm gonna do it. We don't have any excess like silicone on the inside of the tank. But that's pretty much it. So we got both of the tanks right here side by side. This one with just a little crack in it. And that one which I obviously fully resealed. So I'm going to let these things dry overnight. It takes about 24 hours to for silicone to actually fully dry. And I'll come back out here tomorrow and check to see if they have any leaks in them. Alright, so it is now the next day. We got both the tanks right here. And I think this one's going to be for sure, like, good. But, of course, this one, we fully resealed the whole thing. And it looks pretty dang good, I gotta say. But, um, uh, that's all about to be put to test. So, we're going to get both of these tanks filled up. And I'm going to come back out here in about three hours from now or so. And see if I see any water, like, up under them or if they drained any. And, uh, that will for sure, for sure tell me if they still have a leak in them. Alright, here we go. So there we go. We got this tank right here, which is the one I fully sealed, fully filled up, like as far as I could really fill it, up to like literally the rim. So we're gonna definitely find out this has a leak in it. And then this one right here should be should be pretty easy because well the crack is just right there. So obviously, as long as I don't see any water like over in this general area, I actually I can really see it from like the tank. You can see how the water has came from there up under there, and I can see it. And over there you can't see any water, but of course I'm gonna let that go for a few more hours and then. We'll go from there. And by the way, if you're wondering about the flower, and I t told you guys I was going to do an update on in the next video, and here it is, doing great. 
Got a little pinch of granulas right there, and they're all sticking to my finger. Look at him. He would just go around. They'll all get to the bottom, and then he'll go around to the bottom and pick them out, because obviously they're easy to pick out when the... Obviously because it's green gravel, but look at him. Doing fantastic. Alright, so it is now the next day. Yeah, another day. I basically got tied up with some other things, and also I decided basically it'd be better for the tanks just to kind of sit out overnight uh, and on throughout to today and see if they actually had any leaks in them. So this is the tank that had just just the little crack in it right there. And I basically set it up, and I said that I, pr I was pretty sure that this one was not going to have a leak in it. Well, I come out here today, and the water level is about right there. Like, uh, like two or three inches uh, drained. And then it has some water around it in this area right here. But it doesn't have any water in the in the actual, like, crack area. Like, I was like, bro, what what's going on? So what I'm thinking is, is that this one actually have a, has a leak in it somewhere else also. So I think you know what I'm going to do. Seal the whole thing. I will show that to you guys when I actually, like, get that done. However, this tank right here is good. Actually, the reason why some of this water is out of here is trying to move it over and it started, like, splashing some of it out of there. So, uh... Yeah, so we're gonna set this one up. So I'm gonna get this water out of here I'm gonna wash it out and all that and then uh, we'll go ahead and set it up because this is actually the tank that the Tetris were in And I think I'm gonna actually be able to get them in in that tank today because what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the filter cartridge out of the filter That's on the tank that they're in right now and I'm gonna put it in their old filter So that way obviously the media that they're in right now That will be in this tank as well and boom there we go So obviously that's where the other one will be at now. This was not my fault it was not my fault with the other one. Uh, that was just simply that there was a leak in, in the sealant somewhere in the silicone. And uh, I thought it was just a leak in the crack. But uh, I would definitely reseal that one like off of the camera. But I did do a pretty good job, I gotta say. For the first time doing this, I did do a pretty good job on this. So, let's get this thing set back up. We got the filter right here. Gonna set that to the side. Got all these decorations in here. Gonna get the gravel in there first, of course. I just left the gravel in there. Didn't even clean it out or nothing. Look at there, it's even got a little water still in there. And boom, there it is. So obviously, I still gotta get the filter on there. This little bubble one that goes in the back, I gotta get in there. The heater. And uh, yeah, of course, the light. By the way, if you know the light that I got on my guppy tank, like when I like kind of transformed it and all that, I'm gonna be getting those all of the same kind of same kind of lights on all of my 10 gallons just because it, it makes the tank list look a lot better with the LED lights. Oh boy, that is definitely dirty. And boom, there we go. We got the air storm in there, we got the heater right there, we got the filter right there. All the decor set into place. Alright, so I know the lighting is not very good, like, at all. Unfortunately, this light does not actually even work. I'm just gonna put it up here so, like, you know, to prevent, like, a, a lot of evaporation. And just have something over the tank. But let's turn this thing on. Three, two, one. Boom. So I know it looks pretty ridiculous with no light or nothing, but we got the heater working. The filter is running. And it's terrible lighting in this room. The lights are not very good in this room. It's mainly just that one big light. But that is that. I think it even looks even better than how it was before. More room for the fish and all that. I don't know if I said I was going to put the fish in in like this video, but I think I'm going to let it cycle for about a day. And then in the next video, I will put the fish, uh, the two of the fish that I have that were in this tank. I'll put them back in this tank. And also, I'm going to get some more fish for this tank. And also, my puffer tank. I'm going to get some more fish for. 55 gallon tank. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's trying to get up under there with the red tail. There he is. Red tail back up in there. There's New Cave. Albino Oscar. The two other Pakus. And here's the other fish. Well, we just the tiger bar right now. The black skirt's back there hiding for some reason. I don't know why. I know it's like nothing at all, but basically I'm just going to put this guy and the black skirt back in there in the next video. And uh, I'll obviously get some more Tetras because, well, it is a Tetra tank. And of course the Puffer tank. They've actually been getting a lot more used to me lately. Like, not a skittish of me. You can see them coming out to me right now. But you know what? This tank, it just needs more. So I'm going to get like some barbs in here. Like some rosy, rosy barbs and like some little bitty kind of type of barbs or Tetras. And uh, like some little plecos and obviously some plants in here. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're going to get those fish back into that tank in the next video. And also probably get some more fish for that tank in the next video. And also get some more fish for the puffer tank 
in the next video. Maybe even a new beta. Of course, for my other beta thing in there. But anyways, guys, with that being said, guys, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.